70 kgs. Okay, now, not after 24 hours, but after 324 hours. Yes. Okay, now, wow, well, at 39 kgs. It's not a diet you see advertised on TV. <laughs> But we should probably let them out because they're not going to last 324 seconds. So come on out, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You can have a biscuit. Straight from New Zealand. Shrewsbury, so fantastic. Okay. Well, 324 hours. Well, that's actually 13 and a half days. After one month in hospital, things weren't looking so good. I'm very privileged. I've worked with Raga and Nicola around the world. We work extensively here in India. But we work in companies that, that are going through change. And I, I think my advantage is that I have a gold standard in change. I actually know the time. And that time was 9 o'clock in the morning on Christmas Eve, 1982. And that's when the surgeon came in and he put two lines right there. Wheeled me into theatre and all I could think was, cut them off and let me get out of here. They were killing me. The only problem is you wake up the next day. You wake up on Christmas Day. And you look down the bed and the sheets end halfway down. I thought, I thought I had it all sorted. But then I realised, as my dear old dad told me, you never quite know what something is like until it actually happens to you. Well, it happened to me. You know, people say, oh, that's a game changer. It's not. It's a life changer. But it's even more than that. It's about the understanding that you have to live change. Within ourselves, within our communities, our families, within our corporations. We have to understand that change is a continuous, it's a continuum. We have to embrace it. It's about collaboration. It's about all these individuals having shared purpose. That's what Everest is about. But it's also about commitment. It's about total commitment. It's about being on the mountain for two months, being on the mountain, you know, being up high, being in well, what they call the death zone. That's total commitment. The only trouble is I don't call it the death zone. What I call it is I call it the must-do zone. And on the north side of Everest, that's the must-do zone. That's the last day. From 8,300 metres to the summit at 8850. It's a long day. It's a tough day. But it's a day when everything has to be exactly right. Where it's a day when all that training every day for the last 60 days has to be exactly right. On the roof of the world, seeing the sun come up, I can know how I know how much more I can do. But I also know that I can never be the equal of an able-bodied mountaineer because I don't have legs. But I do know I can be the equal of any mountain I choose. What I